Hello everyone, and welcome back to Warrior Cats The Untold Tales, and we're here with Apple Star of Apple Clan today, and we are still struggling with poor Apple Star. He has been having a very difficult time due to all of the attacks that Thunder Clan has waged against his clan. He is still really, really, really feeling quite bitter about the way that Thunder Clan killed Cloud, the mate of Sky Cloud, and we lost him as a member of our clan, even though he had been around for so long long and he had been one of the original cats that Apple Star had bumped into over here and really helped to start grow the clan and he is the father of Alkit and he had been the mother of Sky Cloud and I'm really 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 missing him and it's just it's just so tragic there's just so much tragedy all over the place and poor Apple Star hasn't been able to get his paws really under himself but thankfully we managed to save Silver Shard last time we went out on a nice walk Silver Shard was just trying to spend some time with Apple Star and help him calm down and help him try to get some perspective and hopefully feel a little bit less like he had to attack every single Thunder Clan cat that came by. And then Thunder Clan almost killed him. So we managed to save Silver Shard's life by using the killing bite and killing the deputy of Thunder Clan. I have a feeling that the the intense battles waged between Apple Clan and Thunder Clan are just going to get worse and worse, but hopefully today I Apple Star will have a little bit of a break. He gets to spend some time with his daughters because Acorn Paw and Creek Paw are actually old enough to be apprentices now. So Apple Star gets to assign them to a mentor and he gets to take good care of them and take them out on a tour of the entire clan territory today. I'm really hoping that'll end well. It won't end with his kids ending up uh, sick or, or attacked or even dead themselves. I'm really nervous. No, and then here's Thunder Clan. Trying to come along? Don't think so. Get out of here, buddy. Oh my gosh. Ambusher, Ashheart. Oh, hang in there. Hang in there, Apple Star. Don't take too much damage. You can do it. Okay. We managed to chase away the other cats too, but dang it, Apple Star is really hurt yet again. Ah, oh, I think Blackbird, the medicine cat over here with Leaf Paw, her apprentice, would be quite worried about him. So let's go ahead and heal up Silver or uh like, come on, come on, come on, Silver Shard. Like, we're gonna heal him up, and I like to bring the cats up to our medicine cat whenever we use the healing ability. But I think that uh, Blackbird would definitely be telling Apple, Apple Star that at the moment, he really needs to stick around camp, and he really needs to take good care of himself, because his health is really, really, really low, and we can't really risk having him going out on big adventures with his daughters. He needs to be at, like, the peak of his strength before he takes Acorn Paw and Creek Paw out on the tour of their territory. So let's bring Silver Shard back over here. Heal him up. I have a feeling we'll bring Silver Shard with him. Silver Shard is the deputy in case you guys didn't know. Um, but while we are leaving Silver Shard B, I kind of need to think about which cats, was it Silver Shard who trained Sky Cloud when Sky Cloud was Sky Paw? I can't remember. I need to think about which cats we would assign Acorn Paw and Creek Paw to as apprentices. And we cannot assign little Silver Dada. Oh, that's so cute. She called us Dada. We can't assign little Silver to being, um, a apprentice, even though I really wish we could, because silver actually counts. And let's come and bring some food over to Dark. In fact, I'm going to give Dark three mice uh, because we'll say that we're feeding the three kits that way. I think that's a good way to do things. And then let's come down. Let's force ourselves to eat a frog uh, and maybe even one of these birds because I think the clan and maybe even one of these mice. I think the clan's just really worried about Apple Star and wants to make sure that he's like taking care of himself, especially because his health is always so low lately. And if we wait just a little bit longer, it'll be night and he can get healed during night. But we'll spend our time looking over. So we can't take Silver. Silver is actually the generated kit that we had. The game created her. And so she will grow up into an adult uh, and a warrior as time goes on. But we have to just kind of leave her as a kit right now. However, I rolled a dice to determine how many kits Apple Star would have. And I used the rogues that arrived after the dice was rolled uh, to be his kits. So we had two other kits. So we have Acorn, Paw, and Creek 
snake paw. They're actually rogue cats that I just renamed, and when you rename the cats in Untold Tales, it changes their size. If you name them something kit, they'll be kits. If you name them something paw, they'll be paw size, apprentice size. And if you name them anything that doesn't end in kit or paw, they'll be adult size. So we're keeping track. Um, we knew that today was going to be the day the girls grew up, and I am really excited because we turned them into paws. So now they can actually follow us, and they can actually roam around the camp, and they can come with us. Yes, I love you too, Dark. Yes, that's wonderful, Dark. I'm trying to reach Creek Paw. There we go. But they can actually roam around camp and follow us this way. And I think that's a great way to do things because then we know these two count as his daughters. And so anything that happens to them will be happening to his children. And hopefully they'll live long enough to be able to one day inherit, inherit Apple Star's place as leader of the clan or even just a place within the clan. Because one day we're going to keep going with the, the Apple, Apple clan for as long as we can. One day one of these two will end up inheriting the spot. All right. We should be able to go ahead and sleep now. Almost, almost just half an hour more. I think Silver Shard will definitely receive one of our kits as an apprentice. And the only other warriors that we have who could possibly do that. And let's go ahead and heal up. Um, heal up Silver Shard again. But uh, there's Rain Pelt. And I think that he actually was the... Was it Silver Shard or Rain Pelt who was the mentor of Sky Paw? I can't remember when Sky Paw was a paw, but I think Golden Fern has actually proven himself, and we will have Golden Fern take the other kit. I can't take them all out at once, so for now, we're going to go ahead and leave Creek Kit here. And I think I'm going to assign Acorn Paw to Golden Fern, actually. So we'll leave Silver Shard here, and then we'll come over here and we'll grab Golden Fern. And then we'll go ahead and grab Rain Pelt to come with us as extra protection. So we are going to do a little bit of a tour. I'm so nervous. I really, really hope everything's going to work out okay. But we're going to do a bit of a tour with Acorn Paw. So don't worry, Dark. I'm going to take the kid out and hopefully everything will, will work out okay. We're going to give her a little tour of our territory. Let's start in the less dangerous side of our territory and collect up the, uh, the prey that we left behind. So little Acorn Paw, welcome. This is one day going to be the Grand Apple Orchard. In this place, we will hopefully have lots and lots. Let me put the brambles that ThunderClan keeps stealing. Uh, we will hopefully have lots and lots of apples under every tree. That's just kind of the goal that we have at the moment. We might even line this area with some smooth stones if I can. Make a little natural barrier that we can try to keep um, try to keep ThunderClan out with. And we can leave behind thick marshes that will be full of flowers and hopefully having lots and lots of plants like we might have the comfrey we'll probably plant the comfrey field that we were thinking about if apple star can find the peace within his heart to do so we'll plant the uh, or not the comfrey excuse me the goldenrod field in memory of Renfeather can be planted here as well so we'll go look for some apples and we'll try to just like there we go we'll share tongues this way we'll try to let acorn paw see what her clan's territory is like and we'll also look for uh, look for a little bit of food and Acorn Paw will stay a paw for two seasons. So in the green leaf era on the ninth, then we can see if she is ready to become, oh, there's a whole frog. And I walked right up to it and bumped noses with it and chased it away by accident. But when she is, uh, when it is green leaf, the eighth then we'll be able to see if she is old enough and strong enough to become a warrior and right down here we have apple stars apple stars poor apprentice's grave oh that was so tragic oh that was that was very very sad that was very sad all right and we're wandering out of our territory a little bit but i could see if apple star was over here he might start thinking about trying to claim this area as territory for apple clan um but at the same time you know his kits are half River Clan kits, and so maybe he, especially due to all of the fighting they have done with Thunder Clan, maybe he is thinking more positively of of River Clan lately. God darn it, we're just not getting any food. Oh, but we did collect up a couple more rocks. It really is kind of like a maintenance of the clan territory day. Oh no, you don't. We're getting out of there. Wait, was that Thunder Clan? I wonder if we have to have like a mortal rivalry against Thunder Clan now, and we always have to fight them. Uh oh, I think. Ah! Ah, well, that solved a question. Ah, make sure. Get out of there. I can't see. Where's my kit? Where's my kit? Not cool. Not cool. Oh my gosh. Somebody's hurt. Oh my gosh. That did not just happen. Did something happen? Are my kits okay? 
Acorn Paw, you're okay. Oh my gosh. We're heading straight back. Acorn Paw, you are going back home. We are going to be getting some medical herbs. I, I knew that was a risk. That's the thing. There's always a risk of those kinds of things happening in this world because it is a wild world and it is quite dangerous. Come on, Acorn Paw. We're taking her straight back home. I think Apple Star would be really overprotective right now. Probably when New Leaf rolls around, he won't be quite so bad. But yeah, that's Acorn Paw, you are staying here until you can heal up. And I I think we're gonna go get some more medical like herbs and golden fern you're gonna stay with your new apprentice and I think we'll go ahead uh, should I collect up more medical herbs probably I feel like we need to go get some more medical herbs to make sure that acorn paw is going to be okay so she just had her first battle I hope that I hope that's not going to freak dark out too much here let's go ahead and give the thrush over to dark um, I wonder if Dark's ever going to give us gifts again. And let me scooch this shiny thing down just a teensy bit in case that encourages her to give us gifts. But, oh, come on, Acorn Paw. Let's bring you over. Follow me back to Blackbird. And we'll try healing you up again. And I think your father, I think Silver Shard as deputy and knowing Apple Star is in a weird place, would insist on going. And I think Daffodil would be worried for, oh, did we grab Snowpaw? Snowpaw, I need to give you a mentor too. All right, well, we'll grab Daffodil and we'll grab Snowpaw, I guess, because I think they would all be worried about Acorn Paw. Uh, and Acorn Paw, I got to heal you again, so I'll be back to heal you in a moment. And let's go see if we can gather up any medical herbs from around ThunderClan territory. So we're looking for the Golden Fern, maybe any, any food we might run across, because I think everybody would be worried about the little kit and want to make sure that she's going to be tended to. Might as well grab the rocks and things we run into and just move them. Uh, yeah, no herbs over here. There's gray storm over here. And what about over here? Nothing over here. It is the season where it's very difficult to actually start finding some of these things. So we're going to be searching for like Comfrey, the horsetail. There's Trainer Tune. Can I, can I become a stronger healer? I think Apple Star wants to become a stronger healer to protect his daughter. So maybe he'll start working on herb lore again. Um, nothing here. What about Comfrey from over here? Oh, there's a feather. We don't have a feather to decorate camp with. So I imagine that would be kind of fun. All right. Cliff Lily, really? I would run if I was you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Gonna get out of here and not, not gonna get attacked by like this entire gigantic clan of cats. All right, any medical herbs over here? It is getting kind of late. I think that Daffodil and Snowpaw are a little bit worried because it's getting very late. And also I was for a little while there kind of keeping track of, um, and we'll go ahead and move these down here so they can become bushes. But for a little while there, oh no! Whoa, days, not good, not good, not good. Oh, he did killing bite again, oh why? Oh, why did we have to be that way? But we couldn't, we couldn't risk it, couldn't risk it. Okay, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is everybody okay? Everybody's okay. But Apple Star, oh no, no, we're out of here. This isn't fair to have to run into another battle as soon as we just finish one. <laughs> oh, dang it. Poor Apple Star. He used Killing Bite again because he just couldn't bear to see his group injured once more. We can bring them under this tree for a moment so they can try to rest out of the snow. But I think the snow is just going to get worse. Ah, oh, dang it. All right, come on, come on. Get down from the moss. Get off this. Ah, that's fine. Moss is not coming down, so we'll just have to go ahead and let the cats kind of... There we go. Let the cats sort of heal up over here for a moment. Get a drink from the moss. Catch their breath. I'm really glad nobody died. I think little, um, little Snowpaw. I don't know when Snowpaw will grow up, but I know it'll be about, about Greenleaf is when Snowpaw is supposed to grow up. But maybe Daffodil can take Snowpaw under her wings as a, um, or under her paw, I should say, as an apprentice because she may be a new cat, but I think wanting to come out and search for medical herbs to help here heal the kits and make sure that they're going to be safe and okay. Yeah, everybody's still got their strength even though it's snowy. I think that's a good sign that Daffodil wants to come and make sure that the kits are taken care of. So Apple Star is getting pretty weak. Let's go ahead and bring him back home. At least he managed to get Acorn Kit out and she survived her first battle and let's chase off. Okay, come on, heal, heal and attack. Yeah, we're just chasing off these cats now. We're not gonna let him mess with our cats. Okay, this is unfair. <laughs> I'm gonna have to think about it. We do have a mortal rivalry against Wind or against uh, Thunder Clan, but I'm gonna have to move faster. Oh, dog! Run for it! 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to move a lot faster if we are gonna manage to get back and forth. And let's make sure Snowpaw is healed up. He did such a good job. And let's dive into the nest and sleep for the night. Phew! But Snowpaw did such a good job. I'm so proud of him at trying to come over and make sure that Acorn Paw would be healed up. So I think Daffodil is impressed with little Snowpaw and wants to take him under, under her wing and will train him. And then we will have, I think Acorn Paw and Snowpaw are possibly becoming friends now because Snowpaw just went out to try to gather up all sorts of healing things. Oh, we did have some bird feathers. I totally forgot that they were making a gigantic nest with the kits over here. <laughs> we'll just add more. But I think Acorn Paw and Snowpaw might start becoming really close friends because Snowpaw went out to try to help heal Acorn Paw and gather up some food for her. And speaking of food, we are still pretty darn low on the food that we have available to the clan. I really need to have some more hunting done. Um, yeah, Apple Star is really feeling quite weak lately. Uh, and I do think it's a good idea if every day we bring Dark Lily. Oh, Dark Lily brought again. Oh, she gave us a little mouse. I think it's really nice to give Dark Lily uh, three pieces of prey every day while she has our kits and then otherwise just try to keep enough prey in that there's enough for each and every cat. So I'll have to I'll have to think about that. Maybe you cannot add any more prey to add in more more cats until you have um, until you have one piece of prey for each cat in your clan and so you can't grow the clan until you add in more prey and then maybe at the end of each season not this year but we'll start it next year if on the first of the season or the last day of the season you don't have enough prey some of the cats with the least affiliation and least loyalty to your clan will leave so I'll think about that because there's there's plenty of stories to be had but I'm really proud of Snowpaw he has done a really good job of going out and bringing back some of the the goods we weren't able to really heal acorn paw up because we weren't able to bring enough food back but he at least tried so i'm proud of snowpaw for that and i'm proud of apple star for trying to think even though he used killing bite again today of ways where he could try to make his clan stronger by providing them with more healing herbs and maybe we'll start up that uh that goldenrod field next time so i'll see you guys here in apple clan for more of its stories next time Bye bye